Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a graphite portrait of a pit bull dog. This is my coworker's pet and he is quite a beauty. His name is Edmund, which is just adorable. After I block out the initial shape, I go in and I start adding details, just the same way I do with my people portraits. Usually I will start um, on the left side and I will work my way right, just as a way to avoid smearing as much as I can. Dog noses, while completely adorable, are very difficult for me, I find. Just the um, shape and the fact that they are kind of divided down the middle, I feel like it's difficult for me to make them look realistic. So that's one thing that I will continue to work on. After putting in the general lowlights and highlights, I go back in with a mechanical pencil and I kind of add a few very small, very fine little hairs along the edge of the face. It actually doesn't show up very well in this video footage, but a little bit later I do switch to angle and you can see it a bit better. Like always, I am using Derwent Graphite pencils. They are my favorite pencils so far, and I really haven't found any that I like quite as much. For the other materials used, please go ahead and take a look at the description box below. I'll have them listed. At this point, I kind of realized that the eye wasn't quite looking right. It was a little bit too big, so off camera I did make some pretty big adjustments to the shape and placement of it. Thankfully, I was able to kind of mesh it back in despite the fact that I had already gone on pretty heavy handed with the graphite. While the eyes were a little crossed in the reference photo, I feel like in my picture it was way more obvious. So I tried to tweak that. You do see I will go back and forth on the eyes quite a bit towards the end of the video. bandana I decided just to block out the different checkered spaces. I do think this was a little bit easier than trying to interpret the shape as a whole for me from the very beginning. I think I mentioned before sometimes if I look at something for too long I can barely even tell where the edges are anymore. Everything feels kind of meshed together. So I try to really focus on one single area at a time at this point. With all of the major details finished, I just kind of flesh out the body a little bit. Most of his torso is kind of cut off in the reference photo, so I just kind of let it fade. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to my channel. I do have a couple more pet projects coming up soon, including some oil paintings, so I'm excited to share those with you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good one.